Oh, you are God. You are God. From beginning to the end. We said, There's no place for arguments. You are God by yourself. We said, Jesus. Hallelujah. That wonderful day. Abba Father. Jesus. King of glory. That wonderful day. We say, Jesus. Jesus. There is no other name I know. Hallelujah. Santa Hallelujah. We said, The name, the name of Jesus is higher and greater than our name. Oh, yes, Lord. It is not an ordinary name. It's the name that full of power and grace. The name. Can you call that name? He's greater and higher than all. It is not. He's a name full of power. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name that full of power and grace. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name that full of power and grace. Oh, the name. The name of Jesus. Ah, the name of Jesus. Ah, the name that full of power and grace. Oh, the name of Jesus. We say. Can you go ahead and just begin to reference that name? Can you go ahead and just worship that name? Can you magnify His holy name? The name that wrought wonder, the name that has been exalted above every other name, that dimension of the name of Jesus, every name must bow. Every time I confess that He's Lord, can you thank Him? Can you appreciate Him for your life? Oh, my Riba Tagazantalia, the name that saved, the name that demon here they tremble, the name that the enemy here they bow. <laughs> Open your mouth and worship him in the beauty of his holy name. Worship him in the beauty of his holy name. Appreciate God for Monday, for yesterday, for today. Thank him for ceaseless blessing. Oh, for every battle he's fighting on your behalf. Karima Mangasanta. The name that wrought havoc in the kingdom of darkness. Kaligede Gazupa La Mashita Limama. Promoko Santa Limama Zilebos Kate Gazita Limama. Lord, we are grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. King of glory, we say thank you. Everlasting Father, we say thank you. Borebo say Kaliba Gazata Limama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, most wonderful name, we have worshiped. I thought someone would say a better amen. amen. Can you go ahead and begin to plead the blood of Jesus this morning over your body, soul, and spirit? Can you go ahead and plead the blood 
for cleansing, for purging, for purification. I the Lord to purge you by His blood this morning. Oh, man, riba to gashen tali mama, zibale kete gabura bata gashen talia. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood for cleansing, plead the blood for mercy, plead the blood for thorough washing this morning. I the Lord to wash you by His blood. I that the blood will speak on your behalf this morning. The blood that speaks better than the blood of Abel. Ah, Lord, we plead the blood. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we are praying. I thought someone will say a louder amen. And a thunderous amen. I don't know who God is speaking to this morning. Even as I read Micah chapter 3. Sorry, Micah chapter 5 verse 9. I believe God is speaking to me this morning. Say, thy hand shall be lifted up upon thy adversaries. And all thy enemies shall be cut off. Who is God speaking to this morning? Can you lift up your two hands to heaven and say, Father, according to your word, for the rest of my life, let my hand be lifted up upon all my adversaries. The hand of my adversaries shall not prevail over me, but my hand shall be lifted up upon all my adversaries. Can you go ahead and touch it, Almighty God? That your hand will be lifted up. It is the hand of the champion that is lifted up. <laughs> Only the hand of the champion that is lifted up. The hand of the defeated is not lifted. Add the Lord to lift up your hand today. Paribot Gashit Ali Mama. Kora Baba Baba Baba. Daddy, let my hand be lifted up upon all my adversaries, upon all my foes, upon all my enemies. Lord, let my hand be lifted up. Ah, Bari Kaka Balabo Kashit Ali Mama. Zabali kato gazantali, shembo lolo lolo gazika la brono kosantali mama. Lord, let our hand be lifted. In Jesus, my chine, we are praying. Whenever there is a contest, either boxing competition, or wrestling, or taekwondo, any game of fighting, at the end of the day. It is only the hand of the champion that is lifted up. Can I pray for you, sir? I don't know the battles you are fighting. I don't know the powers contending against you. But according to the word of God this morning, it's your hand that shall be lifted up upon them. Wherever my father will find a louder amen. I decree here this morning never shall the hand of your enemy be lifted up upon you in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and say father all the days of my life let me not be defeated sickness will not defeat me Poverty will not defeat me. Failure will not defeat me. Witches and wizards will not defeat me. Can you lift up your voice and talk to the Almighty God that you will not suffer defeat in the hands of your enemy? Oh, my Riba Kasantalia, Brogodoboska, Lika Gababa, we shall not be defeated. Lord, we shall not be defeated all the days of our life. Whatever power that contains against us. We shall reign over the Makula Bakasantalia. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we have prayed. Then he says, And all thy enemies shall be cut off. Can I pray for you? I decree in that name that is above every other name. Afflictions will be cut off from you, sickness and disease shall be cut off from you. Witches and wizards will be cut off from you. Poverty will be cut off of your life. If you are saying amen, say it loud and clear. 
I don't know the enemies of your life that you want them cut off. But lift up your throat and say, Father, I stand upon the authority of your word. Oh God, my Father, cut off all my enemy before me. <laughs> cut them off, every enemy. How so wicked then? Be cut off, be cut off, be cut off. Failure, sickness, diseases, be cut off. Terminal sicknesses, be cut off. Ask the Lord to cut off all your enemies. Ask God to cut them off. Every Goliath, every Pharaoh, every Herod, every Nebuchadnezzar, be cut off in the name of Jesus. Lord, cut off all my enemies. <laughs> Troublers of my life, of my home, of my marriage, of my wife, of my children. Troublers of my ministry. Lord, cut them off. Kaliga Gabladoska. Re kakaba baba. I the Lord to cut them off. Let them be cut off. Let them be cut off. Kayaka Baboska. Enemies of your children. Let them be cut off. Kasika Laboska. Babo. Kazika Labo. Jibole. Keta Bragababa. Jibala Kate Gasuta. Lord, cut them off. Cut them off. Cut them off. Anything that will cause me weeping. Anything that will cause me sorrow. Wherever they are. Lord, cut them off. Cut them off. Cut off satanic altars. Palika kakala. Break asutalia. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Now lift up your two to heaven. And say, Father. Beautify and decorate me. And this year is going to an end. All oh, my blessings that I am yet to receive, let there be abundant release. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Ah, my riba to Gashen to the mama. Let there be abundant release. <laughs> abundant release. Abundant release. Abundant release. Every of my blessings yet to be received. <laughs> Hey, Kali Mama, fulfill your promises in my life, oh God. Kuramate Gazan, Kali Mama. Zaba, Baba, 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 Baba. Karababosh, Kali Mama. Thank you, my chief father. Hey, Jesus, most wonderful name we have prayed. Finally, lift up your two and say, Father, I hand over my day into your hand. You are the Almighty. Prove yourself mighty in all the affairs of my life today. Everything I will do today, everywhere I will go today, on my behalf, prove yourself mighty in all my involvement. Lord, prove yourself mighty concerning the affairs of my life, concerning my marriage, concerning my home, concerning my business. Prove yourself mighty in my ministry. Prove yourself mighty in the life of my wife and my children today. Lord, prove yourself mighty. Prove yourself mighty on my behalf. Kali Mama, take absolute charge, take total control. Kazi Balema Santalia, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Wherever my father will find a louder amen. Everything that be troubling you, or will be that, or that will trouble you tomorrow, or trouble you in your future, in that name that is above every other name, according to the word of God, they shall be cut off from you. Sickness will be cut off from you. Affliction will be cut off from you. Depression will be cut off from you. Poverty will be cut off for your life. Frustration will be cut off from you. Witches and wizards will be cut off from you. Satanic altar will be cut off before you. God will show himself mighty on your behalf. Everything you do today, you will see the hand of God. Whatever you are involved in today, God will partner with you. I reject failure for you. I reject frustration for you. I reject stagnation for you. I reject retrogression for you. I reject retardation for you. In the name of Jesus. Your head shall be lifted up today. You will rejoice today. As you hand over your day into the hands of the Lord, God will be involved in the affairs of your life. The Lord will remember you for good today. He will send help to you. And we pray for every of our brethren, wherever they are, on their sick bed. Be healed in the name of Jesus.
let God touch them where it matters most in the name of Jesus. And whatever evil the enemy have planted into this day, before you woke up, in that name that's above every name, they are destroyed. We overcome by the blood in the name of Jesus. Enemy will not hijack your day. You will have reason to rejoice. They will congratulate you today. Unexpected blessings will come your way. Blessings you are not expecting, they will come knocking at your door. They will be discharged to you. And all that God has promised you this year that you are yet to receive, let there be abundant release. Everyone under the place of my voice, you will end this year better than you started. <laughs> I say you end this year better than you started. Father, we say thank you. King of glory, we say good morning. You are a good God. Great God. Mighty God. Powerful God. Glorious God. Loving God. Kind God. Caring God. I set our worship in the name of Jesus. Let the we continue, continue with us. Surpass so our expectation today. And let your name be praised. For we pray in Jesus' name. I thought someone would say that amen louder than his neighbor. Maybe you say three thunderous times. One to go. Two. And uh, the grace. Little girl, right? Uh, <laughs> let somebody shout hallelujah. Praise the, Praise the Lord. For he is good. And his mercy endures forevermore. The Lord is mighty in all his ways and glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, always doing wonders. I will forever worship him in the beauty of his holiness. In the beauty of his holiness, I declare and I confess concerning me and my household. That we serve a great God who can do the impossible and can defend his own. Therefore, he will not allow the hand of our adversaries to be lifted up and prevail over us. The Lord shall give us victory on every side and put a new song in our mouth. I declare and I proclaim. I declare and I proclaim that it doesn't matter how strong my adversaries are, my hand shall be lifted up upon them all the days of my life. And my God, the Lord of hosts, shall contend against them. I declare and I confess that all my enemies shall be cut off from me. Afflictions shall be cut off from me. All other sickness and diseases shall be cut off. Witches and wizards shall be cut off. Poverty shall be cut off. Failure shall be cut off. Depression shall be cut off. Fear shall be cut off. Lack shall be cut off. Sorrow shall be cut off. Satanic agents on assignment shall be cut off troubles and problems shall be cut off every form of weakness shall be cut off nightmares shall be cut off and shame and reproach shall be completely cut off from me I declare and I proclaim therefore that nothing shall stop my lifting and now we go up higher and higher all the days of my life. I'll finish well. I'll finish strong. My ending shall be far better, glorious, greater than my beginning. I'll not go to her. I'll read eternity. I will love the Lord. I will serve the Lord all the days of my life. In Jesus' name. Well, hey, bless the Holy Ghost. Palima to Gashentali. Kurabate Gashentali, Mama. Zakula Baba Gashentali. 
Kumale batoka jentele Zubale kaka kaka Jibale potoka zintali mama Kamara batoka zintali Thank you mighty father In Jesus mighty name We are praying May your confession not be vain words As you have spoken to the years of the Lord So shall he do you will hear testimonies yeah. that your confession will become realities in your life. Yeah. And any power that no want to allow those confessions come to pass, let God do for them. Yeah. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Eight powerful amen like thunder. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. And jam your hand and worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Law, the Most High God. Go ahead, make a joyfulness unto the Lord. I say, make a joyful noise. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Before you see that, can I pray for you? Are you sure? Can I prophesy? May the Lord say to you beyond your expectation. If you are driving over there, you may be louder than your neighbor. Wonders of his name be seated in his presence. Philippians 2, verses 9 to 10 is my witness. Wherefore, God also had highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, can you call that name Jesus? Every kneel should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Praise the Lord. This morning we want to look at part three. The wonders of his name. And what are the things that make his name significant? In Colossians chapter three, verse 17, the Bible says, and whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all. <laughs> How many things? How? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. Anything you do, how are you to do it? Oh my God, you are not following. I say, whatsoever you do, what are you supposed to do? Let me read it to you again. Or we read it together. I want to go. And whatsoever, this is a command. And whatsoever ye do, how? In word or deed. Whatsoever ye do, why? In word or deed. Do all. Do all. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Anything you want to do. In whose name? Brethren. When you go to the toilet. In whose name? But you do that. You are laughing. Can we read it again? Want to go? And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all. How? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Can you clap in the name of Jesus? In whose name are you clapping? Sir, ma, let me share a mystery with you this morning. When the Bible says 
Whatsoever ye do, you do it in the name of Jesus. It means whatever you consider ordinary, the moment you add the name of Jesus is no longer ordinary. Can somebody shout in the name of Jesus? I didn't say in the name of Jesus. I said shout in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in whose name are you shouting? <laughs> when you walk, you walk in the name of when you eat, you eat in the name of do you know that is all you need to live holy because if you understand the mystery of doing all that you need to do in the name of Jesus anything you know does not glorify his name and you cannot do it in his name will you do it? Oh, and that's why I can tell you can go Cali Claire that it is possible to live holy. If you are having the mindset that holiness is difficult, no, sir. He says, and whatsoever ye do, how? In where? That's why if you want to gossip, and you know you cannot gossip in the name of Jesus, what do you do? Fem, Ariwo, praise God. <laughs> Let somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> if you want to go and backbite and you know you cannot do it in the name of God, what do you do? But when you get to your place of business and you say, I enter here today in the name of Jesus. All oh, the satanic altar that be erected around because in Philippians 2 9 he says at the mentioning of the name listen to me sir I am sharing a mystery when God says do everything you need to do in the name of Jesus and he says at the mentioning of the name every knee should bow when you call the name of Jesus anything that had wanted to walk contrary against that purpose what are they going to do? You step out of your house. I am going out today. In whose name? Somebody gave you an appointment. You get to his office. You say, I enter into this office today. In whose name? Whatsoever you do, do it in the name of why? Because at the nation of the name of Jesus, every name must. You are going for visa interview. You enter the embassy in whose name? They ask you a question. You answer in whose name? How they now deny you visa? Hello? That's why when Peter got to the layman, he said, gold and silver, I have none. But such as I have, in the name of Jesus, rise up. In whose name was it to rise up? Why? The name wrought wonders. Why? The name is to be trusted. The name is to do what? Eh? Eh? Why? Matthew 12, verse 22, I say, and in his name shall the Gentiles trust and his name shall, sir, that name is to be trusted than anything on earth and in heaven. The name is so potent. The name does not disappoint. The name does not fail. Hello? In Psalm 55, verse 22, he said, Guard thy body upon the law, and it shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. We are you to cast your body. Cast your body upon the law in his name. You know, allow you to be moved. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you read Psalm 130, verse 7, he said, Let Israel 
Hope in the Lord is a hope prayer. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with Him is plenteous redemption. Hello. Hello. The name of the Lord will work wonders in your life. When you give your offering, in whose name are you going to do it? Huh? If you read Psalm 4, verse 5, he said, Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust where? In the Lord. When you trust in Him, at all times, brethren, He will be your refuge. But the Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. They are saved. Sir, the name is a cover. That's why Galatians says, Henceforth, let no man troubles me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. What is the mark of the Lord Jesus? His name is his mark upon our life. Hello? Hello? Because Revelation chapter 19, verse 16 says, and he had on his version and on his tie a name written, King of Kings, and Lord of Lord. May that name be written on you. I said, may his name be written on your forehead. Anyone that sees you, he will see Jesus on your forehead. He will see Jesus written all around you. And in that name that is above every other, they will bow before you. You are saying, amen, say it loud and clear. His name is a strong tower. Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. Whenever I call, you make a way. Your name is a strong tower, Jesus. Strong tower. Do you know the implication of the name of Jesus? Being a strong tower to you. Praise God. In Psalm 62, verse 5. He said, trust in him. How? At all times. Ye people. He said, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. God is what? Meaning, when you are covered by his name, no arrow of the enemy can touch you. Can I pray for somebody? By the name that is above every other name, from today, you will be untouchable. They sir, them man. Why does this name run so much wonder? The name is the name that conquers Satan. In the name of Jesus, the name that conquers it. The name of Jesus, the name. I can hear you, sir. The name of Jesus, Jesus. Ah, the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name Oh, the name of Jesus. The name that conquers Now, listen to this. The name that conquers poverty. Hey. The, the name, name that, that conquers conquer sickness. Just listen. The name that conquers poverty. I say, the name that conquers sickness. Hey. The name that conquers enemy. I say the name that conquer everything. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. I 
I can't hear you. The name of Jesus. Ah, ah. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Sir, ma, once you are able to conquer Satan, your problem is solved. Once you are able to conquer Satan, you are victorious. And you only need how many things? How many things? Just one name. Can somebody scream that name? Can you scream that name and let Satan bow? Be seated. That's why Romans chapter 8, verse 37 to 39 says. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conqueror. Through him, that does what? That love all. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in what? Christ Jesus our Lord. Praise the Lord. And when you read Revelation chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, it says, And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seal, and I heard as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four be saying, Come and see. And what did he see? And I saw, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given him, and he went forth, conquering, and to do what? To conquer. He went forth, do what? Conquering, and to conquer. Jesus is the name that conquers Satan. And that is why with him, Satan cannot prevail. Sickness cannot prevail. Death cannot prevail. Principality cannot prevail. Powers cannot prevail. If you believe that, say it louder. Amen. I pray for you today that in that name that is above every other name, you will conquer Satan. I say you will conquer Satan. I say you conquer Satan. And do you now know the greatest thing that can happen to you? Brethren, you toy in the place of prayers. You give, you don't get results. Why? Because of sin. But in his name, your sins are forgiven. 4 John chapter 2, verse 12. Say, I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for his name's sake. Brethren, seeing the wonders, the victory, the power, and all that the name of the Lord can do, the question is, what do we do with the name? What do we do with the name? Number one, you must believe in the name of Jesus. Do I have people here today that believe in the name of Jesus? Some people don't believe in the name of Jesus. They say, oh, he's like every other prophet. Sir, he's beyond prophet. Have you heard it before? They say, oh, I know him. He's a not be waiting. <laughs> Ignoramus. Praise the Lord. You must believe in his name. When you believe in his name, you believe that he's the Lord of law. You believe that he's the savior of mankind. You believe that no one cometh unto the Father except through him. You believe that in his name you are saved and your sins are forgiven. If you don't believe that, the name cannot do wonders in your life. Number two, you must have faith in the name of Jesus like you have faith on the chair 
that you are sitting. Hello? Do you know that that share you are sitting, you have faith in that share? You don't have faith in that share, you can't sit on it. If, you, if something tells you that that share is going to fall you down, you will not sit. But you are sitting comfortably on that seat now because you have faith that the chair is strong enough to carry you. Am I correct? To what extent do you have faith in the name of Jesus? Do you believe that his name can deliver you? Do you know that his, your problem are solved by his name? If you can have faith in the name of Jesus, sir, ma, there is nothing you are looking for. There is nothing you are believing God for that you cannot receive. Why? The name Rod Wonder. You must have faith in the name of Jesus. Number three. What are you to do with his name? Praise his name. Praise what? Call him by his name. Tell him he's the king of kings. He's the lord of law. He's the root of Jesse. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the son of David, the bride and the morning star, the lamb of God. Praise God. That is the everlasting, the prince of peace, the almighty, the counselor. Call him is Emmanuel. Brethren, when you call him by his name, you give him praise. He's his savior, he's the redeemer, he's a healer. He's our shield. He's our fortress. He's our buckler. He's our refuge. He's our sun tower. Call him by his name. And you see what he's able to do. Sir, ma, I told you yesterday, any name that you call Jesus, there is a power attached to that name to solve any problem that has to do with it. And so when you call him the healer, he saves you of sickness and diseases. When he says he's your good shepherd, he supplies all your needs. Because the young lion shall suffer, shall lack and suffer hunger. But those that see the Lord shall not lack any good. Praise his name. I say praise his name. I say praise his name. What are you to do with his name? Preach his name. Let those that do not know know what his name can do. Can we rise? The name of Jesus, the name that conquer. The name of Jesus. Your head. The name of Jesus. The name that conquers The name of Jesus. The name that conquers enemies. Ah, the name of Jesus. The name that conquers everything. The name of Jesus. The name that conquers poverty. Amen. Do you know why the name of Jesus is so strong, sir? He earned it. The name is not ordinary. He earned it. He earned all the glory, all the honor, all the power attached to his name. Why? In Colossians chapter 2, verse 14 and 15, he said, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, he took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, and having spoiled principalities and power, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in he has already said to your case lift up your two hands to heaven and say Lord Jesus oh my God you can do better say Lord Jesus oh you are not calling that name there's a way you call that name you are saying you will know that he's with you say Lord Jesus save me by your name Go ahead, talk to the Almighty God. I had a lot to save you by His name. Oh, my Riba Toga Shent Alibaba. Lord Jesus, save me by your name, Maso Kalaba, from all unpleasant situations. Kalaba Laba Baba 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 Karaba Baba 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 
Oh, my son, Talia. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Little up I say, Father, let the name of Jesus be a shield and a hedge all around me and my household that no arrow of the wicked shall touch me. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. Let the name of the Lord be a hedge and a shield unto you. Pariba to Gazampale. Kubala gada gada gada. Karaba baba baba baba. Zale poto gashin talibaba. Rakakuta bashin talibaba. Brone ke santo di mama. Oh, masuta le bashin te li mama. In Jesus. Mighty name we are praying. Now lift up your two hands and say, Father. In the name of Jesus. Let all my needs be met. Spiritual need, physical need, financial need, material need. All my need. In the name of Jesus. Let them be men. Kalima mama, kasata li mama. Karabato kashenta li mama. Sale baba baba baba. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Finally, lift up your two hands. He said, Whatsoever ye do in words and in deed, do all in the name of this morning. You want to go out, sir. As you go out, everything you are going to do, you are going to be doing them in the name of Jesus. And wonders will be following you. Yeah. Sir, anywhere you have been having a problem, go there this morning in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You are returning with testimony. Yeah. Say, Father, Father, all I do today, Father. I do in your name. Let signs, wonders, and miracles follow me. Go ahead and touch the Almighty God. All I will do today, Galima, <laughs> Mama, 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 Mama. And whatsoever ye do, <laughs> in deeds and in words, do all in the name of Jesus. Kalimato Kazantalia, Kabrade Kasotali, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. By the power in that name that is above every other name, the name of Jesus, all your prayers are answered. All your prayers are answered. Your problem is solved. Your body is lifted. Your knees are met. You will rejoice in that name that is above every other name. And so shall it be. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Time to give in His name. In whose name are you giving now? Say, Father, I give in your name. Let me never lack all the days of my life. Can you go ahead and talk to the Almighty God? Lord, I give you your name. <laughs> Let me never lack all the days of my life. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Because you are giving in the name of the Lord, the Lord will cause men to give back to you. And so shall it be. Who got the biggest blessing this morning? Shout the loudest, Amen. As you go, the Lord go with you. We continue from where we start. We'll round up on the wonders of his name tomorrow. And then we conclude with a new topic on Friday. Invite your friend, invite your neighbor. Because I know 100 people here today. We end today with testimony. You don't believe me. I said before sunset today, at least 100 people here, we have a testimony. Who is going to be number one? If you believe I'll be number one, shout hallelujah. God bless you for me. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't forget that this evening we'll be having our, our, our house fellowship in our various centers. Check your bulletin. You see the addresses closer to you. God bless you all. The grace.